Today I'm going to be making vanilla extract from scratch. I'm going to make vanilla extract two different ways. So the first way I'm going to just put beans into a bottle with the alcohol and let it sit for months essentially and just let it um, slowly extract. And then the second way I'm going to use the Instant Pot. So I got these vanilla beans off of Amazon. They were I think $22. There's 10 beans in here. So I'm going to use 5 beans for the long extraction and five beans for the short extraction. And for vanilla bean or for vanilla extract, you should use um, grade B or B grade vanilla beans. They're specifically made for um, extracting. So I'm going to take five of these. And I'm just going to cut them lengthwise. And then I'm just going to stick them into my container here. So now that I have the beans in the jar, I'm going to add some vodka. I'm going to add about one cup. But for this one, you really just want to make sure that they are submerged. So if this is not enough, then I'll just add some more. So as you can see, they are completely submerged. I'm going to put the lid on this. And then this can just sit and it'll slowly infuse and it'll get darker in color. The second method, I need a um, mason jar with a lid. You can use a lid that you've already used to can and then a screw top. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the vanilla beans. So we're going to cut them half lengthwise and then we're also going to cut them in half so that they fit in here. And then you want to add about a cup to two cups in here. I think this should be about, yeah, this is about a cup and a third. So we're just going to add this to here. And take your screw top, put it on, and then you just want to finger tighten the lid. Basically, we don't want any of the alcohol vapor to escape, and we don't want any of the steam from the Instant Pot to go into here and dilute our vanilla. So I'm gonna take my Instant Pot, put the little trivet in the bottom, 
and fill it with about a cup full of water. So this was on for 30 minutes and once it beeped that it was done, I unplugged it. I let it naturally vent for about an hour and now just open it and that's what it'll look like. It'll be very hot. This is actually still boiling if you can see the bubbles there. So I'm just going to let this rest and cool down for a little bit longer. All right, so this has cooled down a little bit. It's still warm to the touch. And as you can see, it's a beautiful dark color. This vanilla extract you can use right away. This one is the one that I made a little bit before. As you can see, it's starting to turn a little bit brown at the bottom, but this will need to sit for at least a few weeks. I would say like 12 weeks minimum, but the longer you let it sit, the better. So I probably won't open that one for a year. So I'm gonna take this one, open it, and I'm gonna just transfer everything into this container here, including the beans. And I'm going to pour the extract into here carefully. I don't want to lose anything. If you have a funnel, it would be a great time to use it. And then I'm just going to since since these beads are beans are a little hot still, I'm just gonna use these tongs to put them all in here. This smells so good. And I'm actually just gonna pour a little bit of the liquid back in here because there are quite a few beans at the bottom. So I wanna make sure I get all of this. Cool. And there you go. So I'm gonna get those beans down. And this vanilla extract's ready to go. So just a few things to note. You can use other type of booze. I use vodka in this situation, um, but you can use any type of alcohol as long as it's 80 proof or 40%. So I know that people do make vanilla extract with rum or bourbon, and I've heard really good things about making vanilla extract with bourbon. So I'm definitely gonna try that out next time. And you can use these continuously. So as the extract starts to go down and you, as you're using it up, you can just top it off with more vodka. So you can keep the beans in here. You want to make sure that they're always covered with alcohol, but just keep adding more um, vodka or whatever booze that you're using, and then you can use it indefinitely. I do think that after two years, you should maybe give the beans up and start again, but this is a great way to save money. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.